It's been a week and it is only Wednesday. <laughs> you guys, I'm not feeling it. Like, <laughs> no, not feeling it. Not even like slightly, not even like a little bit. No, sorry, just set my alarm for tomorrow. Otherwise I won't wake up. Hey girls, I am struggling. You know what? I've had like a few really good weeks. Kind of gorge feeling pretty good just a little bit of anxiousness here and there you know i had my anxious bouts my bouts of anxiety which have subsided somewhat but also not at all because i kept having them sorry i'm really cold <laughs> which means i keep yawning that's a bit fun isn't it that's a little bit fun and fresh and funky um i i've been having these like bouts of anxiety and then i felt fine somewhat fine but also like i just feel subconsciously like something's up and i was thinking about it today and i kind of got really upset about it because i've just had this sort of like knock i feel like i don't know maybe it's a looming birthday my birthday is less than two weeks away ladies i cannot wait for all the beautiful birthday messages and presents that everyone's gonna send me and if you're sat there thinking wait what birthday presents and messages sort that out joking but my immediate friends and family i'm not joking <laughs> i am joking i feel like i've really just lost me a little bit i've just lost my essence i've just lost my mojo i was t i was talking to my beautiful work mum about it today i was like jules i just feel like i've lost who i am i don't know what i'm doing i don't know where i'm going i don't know what i want i'm not wearing eyeliner which is such a weird like concept for me to even fathom me not wearing eyeliner weird and do you know what as a result of all of this and the fact that i'm going on holiday in a few weeks I've spent so much money on clothes, which is not, not a good thing, really. Like, it's fun, but I am broke. The way money would solve a lot of my problems. I know that's bad to say, but it would. Sorry, don't shoot the fucking messenger. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just had like a weird start to the week and I just, I felt anxious on Monday. I just, Monday? Monday. Monday was bank holiday. I felt anxious on Monday and I also felt anxious on Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, I had therapy and I spoke about my anxiety and it just made me realise how anxious I actually am and how, like, everything's changing and it's just weird. Like, it's a weird time of year because all my friends go back to uni and, like, I don't know. I just feel strange and, like, I've been thinking a lot about what I want in the future because, obviously, all I want to do is YouTube. Like, that is, realistically, if I could do a job. I don't know why I put job in that because it is a job, but I would do YouTube full-time, right? But, like, realistically, I can't until that becomes, like, an actual sustainable like solid option so i've been thinking about it and obviously i work at a cafe at the moment and i really enjoy it but i've also just been thinking like i feel like i've kind of outgrown it now i'm getting to the point where i'm just like not enjoying it as much as i used to and i'd like to maybe like look into like a new job or whatever but even that just fills me with like guilt and anxiousness and then on tuesday i had to go into work because someone called in sick so i had to go in for an hour to help out and i got there and i found out my favorite customer has died <laughs> what and I don't know. I don't know. I feel crushed, like genuinely really, really sad. Um, I tried to like hold it together when I found out because I was at work and I was like, oh, this isn't good. But then, sorry, I keep yawning. As soon as I got in my car after I just started like sobbing because I was like, what the fuck? It was so sudden. He is like elderly. He was 80 and you know, he was having like health troubles anyway, but he sort of went like really peacefully. He didn't suffer or anything. Um, which I keep like reminding myself of like, you know, but I'm also just crushed <laughs> So I feel like I've really lost touch of everything. My skin is really bad at the moment And to be fair, we are like looming Sort of like week before territory of when my period is due So things get a little bit scary When my period's due, but yeah, I've just been feeling all over the place skills I've just been feeling ever so strange I also have lost my appetite. Well, I might not have lost my appetite because I've eaten so many fucking flaming hot Cheetos. But I could only eat one fish cake at dinner today. What does that tell you? It tells you I'm, I'm deadly ill. I'm deadly sick. I'm also just, like, stressed because I'm having a birthday party and that is so much more stress than what it's worth, I guess. I guess it'll be a good night, I hope. Fucking hell, don't even put that fear in me. And then I have my birthday. I still don't know what I'm going to do on my actual birthday. I'll probably just go up to London with my soon-to-be boyfriend you guys i essentially almost have a boyfriend i just need to ask him to be my boyfriend and then i have a boyfriend which one of you saw that coming none of you not even i saw that coming but i'm not getting into that now i don't 
don't think anyone saw that coming, but I will get into that, but not now. I'll do like a boyfriend reveal part two. I'll do like a, I'll do like a whole thing about that when, it, if and when, you know what I mean? But I'll be spending my birthday with my friend and then I'm going on holiday with him as well the week after my birthday. I need help. I need to be locked away. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, that's kind of fun. Anyway. I needed to start this vlog somewhere. So no matter what happens in the rest of this vlog, I could win the lottery. I'm still gonna title this vlog Bad Week with a emoji. You're on, I bet you are all now looking down, looking at the title thinking, she fucking did as well. And if I haven't titled it that, then who the fuck have I become? Good God. Good morning. You know what, update, I'm still having a fucking terrible week. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? But it's like not the funny where you like you might you have to laugh because you could cry. Like even if I laugh, I will cry. Fuck you! Why won't you just stand up probably, stupid dickhead? Yeah, I'm just having a bad week. And I fear that nothing will change until like I just start a new life. You know what I mean? I just don't think this life is serving me how I want it to. <laughs> Fancy that. I am just so just not in the mood. That's like the only way I can describe my mood at the moment. Not in it, not in it, not in the fucking mood. Yesterday my mum got annoyed at me because she put, she served my dinner up and I just politely said, oh mum, I don't think I'll eat that much mash. So she went fucking sicko mode, scraped all the mash off of my plate. Then I was like, okay, like calm down. I didn't do that. Came to my room, cried while seeing fish fingers and then went to bed at 7 p.m. and slept for 12 hours. I could cry right now and I will. I have work today do i want to fucking go absolutely not i couldn't think of anything worse than having to go and deal with people at the moment i just want to die ah! <laughs> yeah i've cried every day for the past week so that's fun that's fantastic fantastic news i bought two dresses yesterday um because i'm going on holiday so i was like oh i'll buy myself a new dress you know and um they both look fucking horrendous because i have a horrendous body and i hate my body So happy, so happy to be doing the same thing every day. Hating on myself and wanting to die. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I wanted to read yesterday and then I had a headache because I've been crying so much. Every time I cry a lot, it gives me a headache and I don't want to work. I don't, I had the fucking rudest customer yesterday. Oh my God. God, I'm just so angry. And it's like, I know that a lot of this is because it's near my birthday and I get so like spooked out. I'm like a spooked horse around my birthday. But it's also because I hate being a barista. I don't want to be a barista anymore. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Uh, I'm just having a bad week. I'm having a bad week. And when I started filming this, I was like, oh, even if I, even if my luck changes and my week improves, I'll still like caption this or like title this bad week. And that was like somewhat a glimmer of hope that this week would change. But guess what? It hasn't fucking changed. If anything, it's gotten fucking worse. So that is, that's that. Um, miserable. Yes, <laughs> I am, I am miserable. Oh, oh gosh, I just I think I'm just gonna cry in the car cry in the car get it all out Try not to kill myself or someone else for the next seven and a half hours <sighs> Mash. I'm just kidding anywhere else I'd be a tin Mashy bong Ooh, It's just me myself and I it is just me just just silly old me checking in. Girls, I've had some time to reflect on this morning's absolute feralness and I take none of it back, but that's not the point. Ugh. The point is I've had a terrible week, right? There's no taking away from the fucking god awful week I've just had. It's been awful, it's been terrible and I've hated every fucking moment of it. I was gonna say that it's done now, it's not. There's still two days left. Oh, risky business, but I have a day of work tomorrow, so I guess that's good. And then I'm back at work on Sunday. Day. <laughs> if I think about it too much, I will start clawing at things. Ah! But here's what I've been thinking, right? I'm just kidding. Anywhere else I be at home. Fucking hell, I really can't win. I want to sit you on my bed because I don't want to have to fucking move. Dipshit, God. And I'm really good at stuff. Basically, um, it's my period soon. Soon. <laughs> um, my period is looming, okay? We're in murky waters as it stands right now because this sort of before bit, I'm gonna have to move you here. Sorry. 
and then like angle it down. The before bit, before my, I look so petite and small and tiny and in actual fact I'm not, so don't be fooled. Um, I might, I'm just kidding. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I can't even pretend to be happy right now because I'm not, well, I am unhappy. But the thing is, right, I was having like a really bad bout of anxiety because there was so much going on, okay? At the moment, there's so much happening. My brain just feels non-stop all the time, okay? God, that sounded like a siren call. Okay, so it started with a bad bout of anxiety. Then it turned into a, like a little bout of depression slash like a funke, like a bit of a funk. Plus my period is looming. Any day now, girls, probably in a few days, but I'll, I'll have my period for my birthday. <laughs> no, I don't want that. No, because being on my period is quite possibly the worst thing ever. Ever, ever, ever. Um, ever, ever, ever. It's just awful. I hate it. But I can tell it's coming. And like, even if I did get the fucking, oh my God, stop. Sorry. Even if I did get the pill to delay my period, then I would just be on my period to go on holiday or I'd be on my period after that. Like it would still, I would still have to have my period. Plus I know, I think everyone in my life knows, anyone who's had to be around me knows, or you'll probably all fucking know, the implant, anything, like any pills with hormones in it, they fuck up my body. They fuck up my body and they fuck up my mind. And I think another reason I'm feeling bad is because I started taking those, um, ag, 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 Agucastu. I took the cranberry extract and the cast. The, the, you know, I, I said I started taking like vitamins to help with like PMS. I haven't been taking them. And my PMS right now, <laughs> piss myself laughing. It's so bad. So yeah, I've been having just a bad week and I think I haven't had a funk in a while. So it's like really weird because it's not just like a little funk. It's like Sorry. It's not just like a little funk, it's like a pretty bad funk. Like I feel pretty shit. I just feel very lost and like this week has just sort of taken it out of me. Like I feel like I've lost my bearings a bit. Like as well, you know, I mentioned the customer that died at my work, which you guys, it's taken more of a toll on me than I think I realized, which I've already said, but like really bad, like really, really bad. Um, Because like he wasn't just like a customer, he was like a granddad. He was just so like, he was amazing. And it's still, so hard to process the fact that he's gone you know it, i think a lot of it comes from me being sad for his family as well as like sad for myself because i i really loved him um but you know i tr i don't even know how to like i don't even know how to process it because i know like death is a part of life but like death as a premise like it just fucking terrifies me so when i found out i was just like this is awful but um i I've never spoken about religion before. This is taking a bit of a turn, so bear with me. I've never spoken about religion before because I am very aware that religion has both very positive impacts on people's lives, but also very negative impacts on people's lives. And it's not for me to talk about, it's not for me to like promote or diss or shame people for. It's for people to like have their own opinion on and that's like completely fine, right? So just a bit of context, when I was born, I was christened. Um, I was christened at my local church, so were my brothers. So technically we are Christian, but we're not a family that go to church. I didn't grow up going to church. I had no sort of like I was not in touch at all with religion during my childhood and my like early adulthood I guess which is what I'm in now but the customer at work his name was OC like I'll put in a picture of him that light flickering <laughs> do you want to be punched he would speak to me about his church and not in a way that was like pushing it down my throat or being like obnoxious or over the top about it but in like a really nice way where he would just talk to me about religion and faith so then when he was speaking to me about it I started thinking more about it and then like just after my break up i think i started looking even more into religion i don't really know why um and then one of my best friend lydia she is also religious and we spoke about it for a while and i was just sort of like i just sort of said i was like i do think i believe in a god but i don't 100 percent know to like what extent what it means and then yeah i just sort of said that like i was like questioning things looking into it and then we spoke about it for ages and oc was a huge part of why i started looking back into it thing basically what i'm trying to say is that i'm still the same me i said I've, I've been very reluctant to talk about religion and faith because not everyone wants to hear about it and i'm not turning into like a devout christian family channel like that's not what i'm trying to say but basically like i've been looking more into it and seeing what it means to me 
please don't hate on me for saying that but i went and dropped some flowers around for oc's wife and she wrote me a note saying dear Maisie, this is supposed to be oc's daily bible guide called daily bread i'm giving it to you from oc as he is not alive to use it now if you find it helpful you can request that the daily bread thank you so much for the love you showered on my husband oc and i will remain forever grateful to you you're a beautiful character inside and outside god bless you thank you so much for the flowers and please give our thanks to your parents so that like made me cry today i got to meet some of his um family i, I met his children um i don't even know i guess i just feel so honored and grateful like such lovely people and like giving me something that would have been his instead of like them keeping it i don't know it just made me very i don't know i've just been really emotional about it this whole week like every time i think about it i cry uh, because it's like a hard thing and like i said i feel like there's a lot of change going on at the moment anyway so this was like even harder because it's like the worst type of change which is someone dying someone like that i had so much love and respect and time for but they've been like kind enough to invite me to his funeral which i was like so grateful for um i just think i'm really struggling right now i feel like i've just lost a little bit of me i don't really know why but you know there's not much i can do about that um and i just feel shit okay like that's literally the only way i can put it and i felt bad like making a vlog just complaining or just being upset or being moody but then i just thought it's real be real i am i'm being so real i feel like shit and here we are just a little bit sick of everything at the moment but that's okay because everyone has days like that everybody has those days everybody makes mistakes everybody has those days do you know what I mean? I'm a bit stressed because I'm having a birthday party in a week's time and my dress still hasn't arrived and I don't know when it will arrive. And if it looks bad on, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I need to buy for it. Like I, I've bought so many decorations and shit. I don't know what else I need to buy. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm just feeling a bit all over the place if I'm being honest. I just feel an absolute wreck. But, naturally, because I feel like an absolute wreck, I've spent money, so let me show you what I've bought. So I'm going on holiday in two and a bit weeks. I bought two new bikinis. I kind of have a bikini for every day now. Why did I do this? Did I need a new bikini? No. Am I thinking about Instagram pictures? Let's move on. So I got this bikini uh, from Freya. Um, if you don't have boobs, that would need to be picked up by a fucking lorry. What are they called? Grabbers. If you don't have boobs, the second half of the boob alphabet, the boob -abet, um, you wouldn't really know about these brands and if you do have boobs on the second half of the boob bet Then you should know about these brands, but this one is this my mouth is either a lisp or just too much fucking spit This one's from Freya. It was like 20% off both the top and bottoms, which is a result because if you've got big tatters uh you know that it's very expensive to buy any form of bra or bikini but this one fucking take a day off it's white leopard print giving me a bit of snow leopard in the isle of fuerteventura do you know what i mean love it can you even see it love um, and it fits really well as well and then these are the bottoms they're just like stando you know vag goes here bum cheeks and bum i'll go there you know how it is from Bravissimo, this is their own line of bikinis. I got this one. This doesn't fit the greatest because I ordered mine in a 32H, which is what I am in bra size. Bra, why am I speaking like this? Bra sizes? But a 30 would have, because I think like, what is it called, the waistband? I don't really know, but like the band across it is, I think too big because it, it only slightly gapes a little bit there. But a 30, I think would have been way too tight. And obviously with a bra, you have like the three, like settings or like adjustments for how loose or how tight you want it. With the bikini, you obviously only have the one clasp, but it's not bad enough to return to get a size smaller because I know a size smaller would be too, way too small. But this is what it looks like. Sorry, I've been fucking yapping, not showing you. But this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And also with this is that it has a bit of a different cut, so it's a bit more like so 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 scandalous. <laughs> I need some simulation, baby. It's really, really pretty though. And it's got like this little, this little fucking, you can go your own way about it. And it's, it's really nice. You know, until I get a boob reduction, if and when, mainly if, I am a bravissimo girl till I die. Do you know what I mean? So this, gorgeous, this was quite expensive though. This was 42 pounds. <laughs> 42 pounds, yeah. And normally I would get a student discount, but I bought this online instead of in store. So I couldn't, so I had to pay full price, but we do PayPal pay in three. It's not full price, is it? 
so yeah i got that and then the bottoms the what you know what i used to like kind of be a stand for a high waist bottom not anymore i'm trying to get my ass out it's the end of summer for god's sake Oh, uh, Marley ass. Do you know what I mean? These, well, this is hardly getting my ass out. Plus, my ass is quite literally two days. So I don't know what I'm talking about there. But this is what it looks like. Some cool rings. And these were, guess how much these were? £26 for a bit of cloth that will cover my vag. That's not the end. I also got these um, joggers from Urban. This is what they look like. Bit of fun. I said joggers. I meant shorts. These were on sale. These were originally £34 for a bit of cloth. But they were reduced to 20 So somewhat better. And then I also got this from Nasty Gal. Because I ordered it from Boohoo along with a cowboy hat. And then I messaged Boohoo being like, hey, where's my order? Because it was supposed to be here days ago. And they were like, oh, it just got returned to us by Royal Mail. I'm not sure why. Here's a refund. I was like, bae, I still wanted what I ordered. But sadly, I didn't get it. So scrapped the cowboy hat. Just ordered the top that I ordered from Nasty Gal. 10 days until my Taylor Swift birthday. Virgos rise up. My mum made my favourite dinner, so not everything is bad. <laughs> POV, you're having the worst week, right? And you're... I need too much. You're having the worst week, right? You're holding back tears already in just walking to the car to go to work. You're thinking, life can't get much better than this. What is the point? Get much you're worse walking than this, to your you car. Like, like, yeah, life can't oh, get much worse than this. Oh, I know what's happening now. I'm off. Can't Someone's totally wrong. No, 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 no. You're thinking, life can't get much worse than this. What's the point? And you're walking to your car. Tears are welling up in your eyes. And you think, nothing can get worse than this. And then it can. Because what happened? Your dad is sat in his van waiting for your brother to get in it so they can go to work looking like an absolute melon and then what does he do Beeps a tutor. honks his horn and scares the life out of you to the point where you do actually start crying and then because he knows that he's effed up he texts you in capital letters sorry Mark. It's like just past midnight and as you can probably tell my depression room isn't isn't giving. <laughs> I've been trying to tidy it since I got home. I just haven't had the motivation. Every time I think of doing it, I'll just like reopen a new app. It will either be like I'll go on TikTok and then I'll go on Instagram and then I'll be laying there on Instagram thinking, oh I need to tidy my room, so I'll go back on TikTok. And it's just been a bit of a repetitive cycle to the point where I'm just like pretty miserable and i've been trying really hard to like shake this mood if you will and you will and um i just don't think it's gonna shake with my room looking like this to be honest i don't like my room being messy because obviously then it's just like like a reflection of a messy mind which is yeah i'd go as far to say my mind feels quite messy at the moment but i just can't be bothered but i have quite a lot of things i want to do tomorrow like i want to try and be somewhat productive even if the extent of that is just putting some clothes on vintage but i feel like if i wake up tomorrow and i see my room this messy i'm just not gonna want to do anything and i'll just spend all day putting off tidying it so i thought you know the time is nigh um maybe i'll just tidy it now um i also need to change my bedding because i don't know when i last did that which is kind of gross but also real hello who fucking cares bed bugs probably i don't know it's just a huge mess i don't know i feel like i should tidy it i need to go to the post office tomorrow return some parcels like i just feel like if i wake up with a tidy room i'll feel a little bit more motivated to try have a better day whereas right now the room is gross so let's let's tidy it let's tidy it let's do it <laughs> Something fun that I do when I tidy my room is I try and give myself like a time limit. It sounds weird, but so at uni, well, actually, uni, I just tortured myself, but here <laughs> in the Surrey Hills, I give myself sorry in leads. I used to put on, well, one time I remember it so vividly, I put on the song Don't Stop. <gasps> no, I just put my fucking, I put my hands in a plate of just juice. Um, I put on the song Don't Stop by 5SOS and I didn't let myself turn it off until I completely tidied my kitchen. My kitchen, it was a shared kitchen. So now when I hear it, I have a little bit of a flashback thinking, what the fuck? But here, I just, I'll put on like a video or I'll put on like a 
couple songs and I try and be like, okay, by the end of this video, by the end of this couple of songs, I want to be done. And a lot of the time it does help. I don't know if that's like just because I need to have like deadlines to give my life some structure or because I'm an idiot, but it somewhat helps. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tidy. I bought a new book the other day. Ah, I know I said I was on a book buying ban, but I did finish a book. So I bought a new one, but guess what it is? Japanese literature. I also bought this this little Waterstones tote bag. This girl came into my work wearing it and I was like, yes, I need that. I bought this book. It, it was at the till a few times ago. When I went a few times ago, yeah. And it said Japanese bestseller and I was like, yeah, so basically what I'm hearing is I need it. And um, I bought it and it's a proper one of them. You know what I mean? What you were looking for is in the library. This is going to be my next read after I finish this book. Well, maybe my next read. I don't really know my next read. I don't know my next move. You know what I mean? But maybe after my Bob Mortimer book. I'm enjoying. I just have no fucking idea where it's going. Um, but I guess that's kind of the fun in a book. So we'll see. Anyway, let's tidy. to clarify the sheet's not dirty because i changed it the other day when i pissed the bed jk i just got tar all over it like grease don't ask but i'm not reveling that much in my own filth don't be alarmed <laughs> trying to not be such an angry <laughs> little bean this morning um i'm getting ready to go out because i'm going for lunch right with my boyfriend okay let's move on still so weird saying that even though i had a boyfriend for what like eight months and now i'm like oh boyfriend but i have a boyfriend now um but he said he feels stuffy this boy is like the worst person when he's ill and that's coming from me like the worst person when i'm ill but he feels ill i think so i think he's fallen asleep and we're meant to be meeting up at one and it's 22 minutes past 12 two 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 fancy that um so he's probably fallen asleep but that's that's fine because you can probably tell i'm nowhere near ready i have so much stuff i need to do today i need to return an urban parcel i've already like packaged that up i just laid in bed for so long this morning doing nothing because also well not even doing nothing but like i've been trying to sort out this fucking birthday party i'm having every year i'm like yes i need to have a birthday party because then when other people have one and i haven't had one i have like weird fomo but like fomo about not having my own party I don't know, maybe it's like a weird birthday complex thing because I have a fucking million weird birthday complex things, it seems. But I was trying to sort stuff out for this party and then I realised how, like, little money I have, which is never, like... That's not new. Like, that's just... That's always the way with me. I just... I don't think he's awake at all. I just bought um, a camera. I say I have no money and then I, I just bought something. I have two refunds coming my way currently. So I guess you could say I'm rich. But no, I just bought this camera off of Depop because I wanted to take a disposable camera on holiday. And then he told me that you can't take them on holiday because the scanners ruin the film, which has really upset me because I took one on holiday when I went with my dad earlier this year. And I'm guessing now that I've never got it developed. And I'm guessing now if I did, all the photos would be ruined. Plus so many of them I forgot to take with flash as well, which is my own fault for being idiot anyway um but yeah i need to i've just been looking at like stuff for my birthday because i have i have a vision i have a vision and i want it to come true but i don't i'm not a very artistic person because i'm not good at art well like, i guess i am an artistic person but i'm not very good at art like doy like i just said i don't know i just i can't even remember what i was saying but yeah i bought this camera because my friend eloise has one and the videos and the photos she takes on it they're just so nice and i was like oh i want one and i could never find one that was the same as hers and i finally found one on depop never use depop anymore depop kind of scarred me for life when i bought a two-faced jacket from there and then the guy scammed me funny that but 
yeah um this guy seems really nice he's got good feedback so i guess i'll update you whether i got scammed or not i'm hoping i don't because i don't think i could take that at the moment in this current climate how i'm feeling currently yeah i couldn't take that also i don't think i can be bothered to do eyeliner today i'm just having maybe i'm in my soft girl thing no i'm just in my i'm being lazy and i can't be bothered because ain't that the truth honey i cannot be bothered um plus i need to leave like five minutes ago but this boy is asleep so i don't know why i'm rushing because i also need to go to the post office i need to go to hobby craft this is what i'm i'm trying to make this like board i'm trying to like paint this board and make it into something cool but i don't know how foam boards work and i don't know how paint works i don't know how anything works anyway um i have like just little i need to put a shit ton of stuff on vinted i've been procrastinating doing that since tuesday or wednesday tuesday or wednesday Wednesday, I think. I, I've been procrastinating putting stuff on Vinted since Wednesday. So I need to really do that today. I have work tomorrow, but like I have the whole of today to do things. So I might go for lunch and then on my way home post things because this boy has work at three so i need to like prioritize lunch so that we go before he fucking starts work and and i need to yeah return the urban outfit stuff i need to go to hobbycraft post stuff on vintage what else do i need to do i don't know there's just so much to do it's a week today till my party and i'm just like not prepared i don't know what i'm doing i need to get my nails done and like i only have one day to do that next week and I know this sounds so dramatic but like i like if i'm having like an event like this i like to have time i don't have time next week i'm working tuesday wednesday thursday but two of those days i'm closing the day i'm opening i have therapy after i need to get my nails done on monday i'm getting my hair done on friday i need to set up the whole party on the day of saturday then come home and get ready the dress that i'm wearing still hasn't arrived um and if it doesn't look good i feel like i've already said this but i don't know but if it doesn't look good i don't know what i'm gonna wear but i think it will look good like all the reviews are really nice and the dress itself looks really nice it's on theme and i like the look of it so i'm hoping it, I, all that matters is that it just gets here in time because <laughs> so far she ain't here and every has got the parcel it hasn't sent it out for delivery yet and i'm just fucking hoping and praying that i get it on time because if i don't i'm just gonna be so crushed so yeah that's what's going on and then i'm obviously like i said i'm going on holiday in like what two weeks it's all just a bit much and in between all of this is my actual birthday so i'm having a party on the 9th my birthday is on the 11th and i go on holiday on the 18th and the, like the week after my birthday um so like the week of my birthday i'm working a few days and the week after my birthday i'm working a few days but like it's all just very like annoying timing because like when it comes to preparing for a holiday i need at least three weeks to do that three weeks with no plans and i have like two days and i have things like slotted in between each day i don't know just i don't know i just need a just need a life of not being busy i'm not even busy i'm just lazy i don't want to do anything i don't know i'm trying to be quick but like i said i don't know why i'm bothering because i still don't think he's awake oh he's just woken up but yeah that's like something else i haven't really that's something else i haven't really spoken about is bloody relationship because it's nothing like secret you know what i mean it's not like i'm trying to keep my relationship offline because i don't fucking care do you know what i mean like i kept my whole last relationship online when we broke up i kept it online like everything you know what well, i would go as far to say girl online was about me miss Maisie fl um but i things have been like in the works about it but i haven't really spoken about it because i never knew what was happening and i knew that he watches my videos so i didn't want to sit there and be like guys i think i'm getting with someone but i don't know if it's just a friendship or not um and then he watch it and be like what the fuck so i didn't speak about it and now i can speak about it because it's in the book it's in the history book um but yeah maybe i'll do a boyfriend reveal next week next week's vlog i feel like i should have some if i stay motivated and keep vlogging which by that i mean i'm just gonna have to force someone to get me to vlog or get someone else to vlog me doing things i should have some exciting vlogs over the next few weeks like boyfriend reveal birthday and birthday party um holiday when i go on holiday um with said boyfriend like we should have some exciting times coming up i say we should i'm i'm hoping they'll be good but yeah that's what's been going on i, I do feel a bit better today i know my period is coming i'm sat cross-legged because i'm scared that it's gonna like start any minute i'm always quite on edge when it comes to like that sort of week before the looming bit of your period because i don't know what's happening 
me my bodily functions but i guess we'll see we'll see if i i just i don't know we'll see if i start my period i just i'm stressed i don't really have the money to go out to eat today either like i'm getting my hair done next week which is expensive and i need to get my nails done and i need to buy this fucking board to make prop <laughs> and i was gonna buy an easel to prop it up but i was just like realistically why would i do that because i don't have the money to buy an easel and i will never use the easel again so i need to start thinking like with my actual brain instead of like my fucking eyes i don't know i'm a bit stupid sometimes i don't i, don't, I just don't think i think a lot of the time i think i'm just i just do i'm just like yeah just do it who fucking cares? Just do it. And then I'm like, I care because now I have no money. <laughs> I don't know. I need to really hurry up though because the traffic is going to be really bad. Oh, fuck, the traffic's going to be really bad. Shit, I didn't think of this. Why is my, my time management is so bad? That is something I need to work on in half an hour to get there. No. No. Fuck. I need to work on my time management so badly because I know how bad the traffic is getting to where I'm going and yet still I have not left. I should have left five minutes ago to get there on time. But here I am, sat here, chatting away, chit-chatting. It's fine. I'll just not put any eye makeup on. Go for that natural prepubescent look. Yeah, I'll just have to go for this sort of natural look, which is not very natural because I've slapped on a lot of makeup. But I need to add some freckles. Oh my god, I really don't have time for this. It's fine. If I had freckles, at least I'll look like, like healthier, maybe. Makes it look like I've been in the sun, even though we've had no sun. Maybe it'll make me look mysterious. Maybe someone will fall in love with me i don't know i don't really know what i'm trying to achieve i'm just trying to leave the house but that's not going very well and it's really muggy outside so i don't know what to wear that's another thing i'm not even dressed yet <laughs> this is not good oh god okay. blend okay i think i look ridiculous what's up here's to me having some boys on my payroll what's up on a date <laughs> My boyfriend is on the other side of his camera. 50k likes and I'll do a boyfriend reveal. <laughs> Girls, I'm having a better day. I'm glad to report that because I was very worried that this whole vlog would just be me complaining. Which it essentially has been, but I'm having a better day. I, I was going to say I've got quite a lot done, but that would be a lie. I haven't. <laughs> Thinking about it, I've actually done not much at all. But who fucking cares? I had a pizza express. That pizza was so nice. Garlic prawn. If you don't know, get to know. I now need to go and go to fucking Hobbycraft to see if I can buy that board for like my birthday plan, but we'll see how that goes. It's so warm in here. Like, what the fuck? Fuck you guys, boiling. Girls, I'm home now. What's what? I'm home. I'm having like a really good day today, which is so nice because as you all know, I've been having like some really, really bad days and yeah. He just comes in and he goes, Mama is making me some beautiful love trousers. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to take my trousers off? This is where my leg begins. Where will you wear? Where will you wear them? They're elasticated. What about here? I know, I'd like them to be long, not cropped. Please. Well, I think what we do is if I make them, put that right down to the floor. Boogie boogie. Where's oh. this from? Good. Oh shite. Now that's done. Um I went for lunch with a little boyfriend and I bought some stuff because hello, I have a spending problem. But I bought some stuff for my birthday, as in my party. Saying my party out loud is giving me the physical sickness ick. But I bought stuff for that, I bought stuff that I needed and I also have stuff that I've ordered to show you. So this is quite exciting and everything has a little story with it but I'm going to try not to ramble too much. But let me show you what I got. I didn't get a bubble tea. Sad day today. Sold out of passion fruit popping balls and you know I don't fuck with any others so didn't get any of that. Went to Superdrug and I got a replacement of this. This is what I wear every single day. I know it's supposed to be like something you put on before foundation but I prefer this to foundation. It is a, it is a <laughs> collection gorgeous glow filter finish. It's like the charlotte tilbury do i've gone through like three bottles of this now i've used it all year round as well i went through a phase of using actual foundation and it just felt like i was clogging up my face but that's also because i don't find uh, what i haven't found a foundation that i really like in a while I go through phases but this is like an all-rounder pretty good i got this 
from e.l.f. It's the um, liquid glitter eyeshadow topper and it's in the shade bling bling. You used to call me on my cell phone. Um, it's just silver. It's like silver and glittery. Clitoris, I guess. This is what it looks like. This is how big the packaging is. It's just this like, like I said, eyeshadow topper and I'm going like kind of glitz and glamour vibe my birthday. So I thought get this and even if I don't use it as like an eyeshadow, I thought I could just put it somewhere, somewhere fun. <laughs> You can't even see it, but it is like, I guess it's supposed to be kind of sheer because it's a topper. That looks so stupid like that, but I got that. And then I also got these, these brushwork uh, triangular powder puff duo because I have these ones, but these are from Amazon. And when you first use them, they molt like little um, bits of black, like fabric on you, which is gorgeous. So I got these ones, they're only six pounds and they have quite good reviews. So I got them. Also got a new eyelash curler because the eyelash curler I have now is good, but it doesn't have the things to put your like fingers through. It's one that's like not circular. You see See what i mean and i prefer these ones so why not um and the guy in Superdrug was like i really like your top and i was like oh thank you very much my eyes are up here but thank you very much and then i went to the works and i got some paint brushes to paint a fucking bit of board that i bought and i also got two of these balloons because they're only one pound fifty these helium star balloons because you know me i love a star it's like if you keep the receipt and you want them blown up you can bring them back and we'll blow them up for free because it's including the price and i was like awesome and then i walked out without the receipt and he was like don't you want the receipt and i was like yeah probably do no i got them so that was good and then i posted my urban return finally and then i went to hobbycraft and i got the board that i wanted it's just this a1 bit of foam board and my mum has black acrylic paint and she's gonna help me paint on what I want. And that's why I bought them paint brushes. It all makes sense. And then I got these um skin, these little like letter balloons. I wanted to spell rat, but they didn't have they didn't have an A or a T. They only had an R. And then I found other balloons that were the same sort of size, but they didn't have A. They had the R and the T. And then I found like like letters that you can like paint and customize and stuff, like cardboardy ones. I don't really know how to describe them, but they didn't have a T. But they did have an M, an F, a C, and a U. Maisie Fuller Cinematic Universe. I don't care if people think I'm self-obsessed. I am. What about it? Um, so I got these and they were 50p each. I was like, oh, perfect. Took them to the till. The lady was like, oh, sorry, that it's being blocked on the till because it says we don't sell them anymore. And she was like, I need to call my supervisor just in case, like, I need to find out if I can, like, sell them to or not. And I was like, oh, okay, like, no worries. And then the woman was like, yeah, we don't sell these anymore. And I was like, oh, okay, no worries. And then she was like, just have them. And she was like, I hope that's, like, a good start or end to your day. And I literally was like, look, I'm going to be so real with you. I've had such a bad week. I was like, so this was such a win. And she was like, oh, there you go then. I was like, oh, thank you. Fantastic news. I fucking went to Boots to get my Rubicon Mango. Had enough points on my Advantage card. Ah, small wins, people. And then from ASOS, I ordered some clothes to go on holiday with. And I need to try them on. And I really hope they look good. But I ordered this little cami. Who's cami? Um, this, like, white lace vest cami top to go with this. It looks so much darker on camera, but skirt is so pretty i really hope it looks nice and then i also got this this is kind of like a cheeky little like dress with cherries all over it thought this is cute little like holiday holiday look just envisioning the instagram post and then i also got this which i'm so hoping looks good because the look of it off is so nice so i hope it looks good on but it's this like silk lay leopard print dress and it has a big cut up at the back but it will cover where my bra sits hopefully so i'm going to try this on on now so all in all i've had a pretty good day I do need to go to Sainsbury's quickly because I've run out of Dr. Pepper. Tragedy when the feeling's gone and you can't what is the word <laughs> tragedy when the feeling's gone and you can't go on it's tragedy that is how i'm feeling right now so yeah need to still put some stuff on vintage and edit this vlog but so far so bloody good babe i'll show you what the stuff looks like on if it looks good if it looks bad there ain't no way you're seeing it sorry <laughs> and can i see you again yes mamas my girls my girl my girl <laughs> all the stuff fit pretty well which is a result the leopard print dress could fit better but it also could fit way worse so i'm taking it as a win you know pick your battles i need to go to sainsbury's because i've run out of dr pepper and also my parents are having a kebab for dinner and i used to just like let it slide and eat like a chicken kebab but i'm trying to be a good vegetable -tarian or pescatarian so i'm going to go and get some feta cheese because we had my favorite dinner ever last night and i ate majority of it so the missing component is feta cheese so what am i gonna go get feta cheese up here for thinking down there for fucking dancing mate and making love Sorry. Make love and listen to the music. Where are we going? Underground. 
Yes, busted. Secured the bag, mate. Happy fucking Saturday. <laughs>